Well, hi. I'm back. <laughs> I accidentally took a hiatus. Didn't really mean to, but I did. <laughs> uh, lots of life changes have happened to me over the past month and a half that I have not filmed. Number one, I took the first vacation that I've been on in, I can't even tell you how long. I thought, oh, I'll vlog while I'm at Disney World. Did I vlog? No. But did I have a heck of a good time? Yes. Um, so that was in January. While I was there, I ended up getting a new job offer. So for the past couple of weeks, I've actually like left my old job and started a new one. So I've like completely changed career paths from one, like I was in recruitment and now I'm going into sales. So still both at a tech company, but <laughs> it has been a whirlwind of a couple of weeks. So I've really not done a whole lot of reading. I have in fact done a lot of playing Pokemon. <laughs> Uh, if anyone else has been playing Pokemon Legends Arceus, like, let me know because I can't put down the controller. So, <laughs> I did start House of Sky and Breath, um, and my week, my plan for this weekend is to, like, dedicate myself to reading that book. Um, I'm reading it with Bethany. She'll probably kill me if I finish it, but I might try to finish it. <laughs> It'll probably not happen, but I would like to read a good chunk of it. So, anyway, I just wanted to vlog because I've not vlogged in a hot freaking minute. Um, we just had a lot of random things going on around here. So, let's have a great weekend. Let's play some more Pokemon. Let's eat some pizza. Let's read. <laughs> okay, bye. Good morning. I stayed up until probably about four realistically because I finished House of Sky and Breath and I going into this book I figured kind of what the outcome was going to be and what was going to happen based on some theories I had and I was right at the end of the day I was right I'm not going to say what those theories are because major spoilers but it still ended up blowing my mind <laughs> In so many ways that I finished the book at 2.15 and I did not fall asleep until 4. I'm going to need Sarah to put out the next book ASAP. I don't think I can go two years without knowing the outcome of that ending. <laughs> this reminds me of what happened, how I felt after reading A Court of Mist and Fury. Truly, because I read that when it came out, I had to wait until Aka War came out. I mean, that was a long wait for me because that book also ended very similar, similarly. Gosh, I came and talked this morning. It, it, not in the same like theories, perhaps, but with a major cliffhanger. So I don't know how to go on about my life. I really don't. But I do think. Um, a War of Two Queens, or The War of Two Queens, I'm not sure if it's A or the, but it comes out on the 15th, and I want to do a whole reread of that series because <laughs> I just need to, so this is the perfect excuse so that I don't end up in a slump to just full steam ahead into From Blood and Ash. Um, I want to start from the beginning, I want to be prepared, so that's what we're going to do this week. Uh, it's Monday, I need to start working. I can't really think because I'm so mind blown. I want to listen to the last chapter because I read it. I want to listen to it just so I can take it all in again. Um, and then read all of the bonus scenes that each uh, book had. So that's my plan. How are you guys? Did anybody else read it? Because my brain skyrocketed out of my head last night. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later.
everyone. Guess what came in today? March Fairy Loop. Pretty sure it's March. I mean, that's what month we're in. So, should be March. But, please ignore my coffee cup in the background. And yes, I drink coffee now. This is like the first time I'm almost 32. And I've never liked coffee. And I swear to you, I think COVID changed my taste buds slightly. Having COVID changed them. Which I've heard that that can be a thing sometimes. And I also know that I think every seven years, apparently your taste buds change. So something happened on the Disney trip. All of a sudden, I was like, where has coffee been my entire life? And now I can't go a day without having it. So that was going to get very expensive if I kept going to Starbucks. <laughs> so I got an espresso. And that has been the best investment that I have made in a long time. So... I am excited. But anyway, so ignore that. <laughs> okay, so spoilers if you have not received your March fairy loot. Um, so this is Threads of Fate. So let's see what's in here. And I know like fairy loot is, can, they're switching. Well, they have their adult only book um, coming out. Like once a month book. There's no box with it. It's just the book, which I signed up for that. And then I think they're going to also switch to having like you can do the YA book only, but I'm probably just going to keep the box because sometimes they do throw really good stuff in there. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with it. I never skip fairy loot boxes, even if I don't really care about the theme. <laughs> so, okay. So the first thing we have is a cushion cover, pillowcase, whatever you want to call it, for Ray Bearer, which I have not read. Um, I mean, it's pretty. I just wish I had read it before. The front says, only one thing is more powerful than a wish, and that is a purpose. That's a pretty good quote. So there's that. So then we have Threads of Fate T10. It's really pretty. It says, don't chase fate, let fate chase you. I feel like this is good ASMR. Um, so they made another one of these and it was an Akatar one and I have that on my desk and I use it to put, so I randomly put my work badge in there. <laughs> so, you know, they can be used for things other than tea because I do not drink tea. So, you know. I can't even get this open. Ah. I mean, it seals really good. So that's the like inside and it says, wait for me where the land meets the sea. And this is a really pretty tin. Good shelf decor. Then we have a Cersei Woodmark. So that's the package. Ooh, that's really pretty. I have not read Cersei. A lot of people talk about it though. It's a pretty wooden bookmark. And then, ugh. <laughs> sorry. Oh, okay. And then we're missing one thing. The playing cards are not supposed to get here. Uh, they were running behind. So they went ahead and shipped the boxes without it. And it'll be in the April crate. Um, so then we have a Raven Cycle, um, the Raven Boys sticker sheet. I hated this series. <laughs> so, yeah, not, uh, I did not like that book. I read it a long time ago, though, but I was not a fan. And then our tarot cards of the month are from Daughter of the Moon Goddess, which was a previous um, book that we just got. I think we, it was last month's book, which these are stunning. Look at that art by one of my favorite artists. Super pretty. All right. So then the book, she's not very thick. She's pretty skinny. So we have the author letter, which is really pretty. And then, ooh, the girl who fell beneath the sea. Holy smokes, this cover. <laughs> this is such a pretty book. I'll have to put like what the original cover, because I don't even know. I'll put it right here though. But look, this is not even doing it justice. 
like this color of blue. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, this makes me want to read that. <gasps> okay, first of all. Wow. That is stunning. But this is what I gasped at. I mean, Fairy Loot tricks. They trick out their books. Like, I don't think anyone does it like Fairy Loot does. I, I, I just don't. I don't see it. Like, that's stunning. Is there art on the... No. Okay. So, they did this month. There is no art on the inside flap, which there usually is. But I think they forewent that for the art on the end papers, which... Stop. Stunning. No idea what this is about. Not a clue. But I want to read it. Because... That is really pretty. Good grief. Okay. Well, that was shockingly good. Well, not that I doubted it, but like, that even blew my expectations away. I'm telling you, don't sleep on Fairy Loop. I, and really, I don't really think I cared, in all honesty, for anything in this box, minus maybe the tarot cards. But like, really, that's. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it starts to get a little junky, if you ask me. Like, just because if you're getting... I've been getting a Fairy Loot box every month since probably 2019, maybe 2020. Like, a long time. Um, so at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff kind of piles up in corners because I don't use a lot of it. Um, so maybe that is a case that I should switch to the book only option. But then what happens is they throw something that I want in the box, and then I'm out of luck. <laughs> so that's why I do it to myself, is because the, the what if, the what if we get some Sarah J Moss or some JLA or, you know, some other book, Cassandra Clare, or something that I really, really like, and then I'll be disappointed and wish I didn't have the book only option. <sighs> it's worth the sacrifice for me. That's my opinion. What does everybody else think? That's the March Fairy Loot. Wow. Once again, I do not think that this camera, like, this is picking up and doing it justice because it is shockingly gorgeous. The blues and the pinks, very Lily Pulitzer-esque. Lisa Frank, almost. Like, whoever designed this, it's a vibe. Oof. Pretty. I'm here for it. All right, well... I'm going to catch up with you guys in a little bit because we need to have like a long chat about my life, where things have been, what's going on, what's to come, because that's the exciting part is I finally get to slow down a little bit. And so we're going to chat about that here in a little bit. When I'm making dinner, I'm going to set up a camera and as I make dinner, we're going to chat. So talk soon. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> okay, so I figured while I'm cooking and Odin's playing with his Nemo, so if you hear the squeaking... Hey, can you stop? Um, that's what that is. So I wanted to like catch up on all things life and this is the perfect opportunity, I feel like. Um, I took an unexpected hiatus, I guess you would say. Didn't really mean to, just kind of happened. Like we went to Disney in January. My mom and I went to Disney in January. And hey, Odin, let's not put that squeaky one. And the, it was a great trip, um, but while I was on that trip, I ended up getting another job. <laughs> uh, so I was a recruiter for a company, and now I'm moving into technical, like tech sales. Hold on. Okay, so I'm moving into like tech sales, um, so like wireless networking, that whole thing. And I ended up getting a job offer um, in late January. So the whole month of February, I spent like finishing up my things at my old job and then moving into my new job, <laughs> which of course, like anytime you switch jobs, that is a lot of work. <laughs> 
So I have been consumed with that for the past couple of weeks. Really didn't even do a whole lot of reading, to be honest. Um, and, but this will afford me to be able to basically quit my little part-time job that I had going. So I actually got divorced three, four years ago now. Um, and it was hard, like going back to a one person salary, that was terrible. And when COVID hit, like I really just needed a, another way to make money. Um, so I got just like a part-time retail job. So I'm able to now quit that, which is great. Um, so that means I'll actually have more time to read and film and like have fun with my YouTube channel and live my life <laughs> and not work all the time. So that's going to be fantastic. Um, but I did read a couple of things over the past couple of months since I've been gone. Um, I really haven't filmed, honestly, since December. Um, obviously, I read House of Sky and Breath. It was amazing. I, I honestly can't stop thinking about it. I still think about it even now. Um, I find myself, like, on the car ride home just a little bit ago, I was literally thinking about House of Sky, Sky and Breath. Um, it was so good. It was everything I wanted it to be. And I like the twist at the end. I predicted that a long time ago. Um, so I was really excited for it. So if you have not dealt, like, I feel like everybody at this point has probably, and I'm making tofu, by the way, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I feel like most people at this point have probably read Crescent City. So I read that. Um, and then of course I read the controversial War of Two Queens, which I loved it, um, personally. I think there are certain tropes or things in books that are not everyone's cup of tea, but I also don't believe in bashing an author for their own work. <laughs> like, this is a fantasy, this is a story that is not real, and uh, to go as far as sending death threats to an author because of a, like, choice that they took, like, the way that they took the books is just not right. Like, that's just not cool. Um, so I personally gave it five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed that book. I thought it was great. It's probably my favorite out of the entire series. Um, Kingdom of Flesh and Fire was probably a close, like that, it's between those two. Um, but I personally really liked the direction things went. I think it was hinted since book one. And I did a reread of all those books before I read the newest one, like so in the past couple of weeks. And it was a very much foreshadowed, like there was certain um, tensions and things that I don't, if you wouldn't have paid attention, you might not have picked up on it. But doing the reread, I certainly did. Um, and then I just finished, um, so it was the sequel to It Happened One Summer. It was called Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. So good, guys. It... <laughs> It was so good. It was so romantic and just really, really good because we were really in the mind of the main male character. And yeah, it was really like a big focus on like mental health and, and different things like that. So I would have probably liked a bit more spice to that book. Like it held out. <laughs> but when we got it, like it was super good. <sighs> But it was, it like took a while to get to that. And I know why, like it lends itself to the plot and it makes sense to do it that way. But it took a while. It took a long time to get there. Um, okay, now I need to kind of do some, I'm just standing here talking and not actually making dinner. And it's like eight o'clock. So I'm making these like tofu and broccoli rice bowls and they are delicious. And I make everything in my air fryer, which, haha, <laughs> love an air fryer. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, I have also been reading the Zodiac Academy. I'm on the fourth, I think I'm on the fourth book. Now listen, I'm not as into these books as I think everyone else is. I mean, I think they're good, but I don't die to read it, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not killing myself to read these books. It takes me a while and they're long. Good Lord. The fourth one is like 700 pages and there's eight books. There's seven out currently, but there's like going to be eight total. Holy mackerel. I mean, it's long. Um, and then Dead Drop comes out this week, which is the second book in um, Tate James. Yeah, it's the second book in um, Tate James's new like 
kind of reverse harem series that follows the same guild world that we've been in with Madison Kate. Um, so I'm excited to, I really want to get through the fourth Zodiac Academy. So I'm probably gonna work on that tonight, maybe later, take a bath and read. Um, Cause I really want to reread the first one, which I don't remember what it was called. I know it's like the guild number one, but I'm not remembering what exactly the first book was called. And I'll probably feel stupid when I look it up because I'll put it right there for you guys to see, but I really enjoyed it, but I want to reread it before I read the second one. And that comes out tomorrow. But like I said, like I'm so excited to have more time to read and actually, because I'm behind on my goals for the year, really far behind. So I'm excited to actually read a bit more. Um, I'm going to start going for like walks in the evening and reading while I do that. So that's going to be fun. I don't know if you can hear the air fryer going in the back, but that's the other way I've been making this dish. And it is... So freaking good, I can't stand it. So I just like marinate my tofu in different Asian spices, basically. And whew, it's delicious. I freaking love it. I'm eating it like every day. I don't know if that's the best way to do things, but I don't have any problems with it. Uh, let's see what else is going on. I've almost beat Pokemon Arceus, which has taken up a lot of my time. <laughs> That's what I've spent a lot of my days doing for a while. Um, it's just excellent. That was such a fun game. If you have a Switch, which I feel like most people at this point have heard of it or played it or whatever. So, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I really haven't read too much lately. Um, I think physically, though, I want to pick up and finish the duology of, what is it called? I don't know. I have it in my bedroom, and it's something I read. It came out in a fairy loot, bo fairy loot box in maybe 2020, and I really enjoyed it, more so than I thought I would. So, I kind of want to, the second one came out, and I want to finish that keep wanting to call it inheritance but that's not it pretty sure it starts with an I I'll put it up um, but I do have that so I might start that physically because I just finished hook line and sinker was my physical book so there's that but yeah I just wanted to say like hello I'm back this is where I've been I've been starting a new job which I think we can all attest to the fact that that takes up a lot of time and energy and I'm finally done training so I should have a lot more time to do some more fun things. And especially now that I've quit my part-time job. Ha <laughs> ha That's really gonna open the door. I will be vlogging this week. That is my goal to be back vlogging. I'm gonna keep making dinner and I will catch up with you guys later. Happy Monday, everyone. I haven't vlogged today. I've been hard at work, but I did get a package. And let me tell you, I have been waiting for this package since, I don't know, when did we order these? November? I feel like it was November. Maybe. Could have been earlier in the fall. I really don't know at this point, but I am so excited for this. You have no idea. So these are the Bookish Box selection of the Guild series. <laughs> okay, now, if you're Bethany, I need you to maybe fast forward or quit watching because we're about to read this and I feel like some, one of the covers is a bit spoilery. Okay, so they're coming in and I will say this is really nice. Like they're coming in these like nice little individually packaged um, book holders similar to, they're honestly like a bit thicker than the Illumicrate and the Fairy Loot version and I don't even think their sets come in these. Uh, like if you order like a special edition set. And Bethany and I are about to start rereading these, or she's never read them, but I have. And I'm obsessed. And the last book, Glow, comes out in May. And I am so excited. I can't wait to continue this series. And I'm so excited to own these. Like, 
Can you even? Because I can't. So it has like the gold. So this is like a take on the King Midas um, story. So here is it without the, so the, the cover itself is like this clear plastic and I need to take off, like, I think there's like a protective film on this. Yeah. So there is. So if you ordered the set FYI, there's like this film on the cover that's got to get removed. So to kind of like protect this cover, low key annoying to remove. Not bad actually. So, this is like the plastic cover. And then we have that, the edges. Oh. Oh. Here's the inside, Goldfinch. If you know, you know. Signed. Some people have been posting that their like third book didn't get signed, so I'm curious to see if mine is. So it's, it even says, it's the myth of King Midas reimagined. It's on Kim Kindle Unlimited, but I highly recommend. Do check the trigger warnings because I do feel like there is some stuff in there that could be triggering for some people, definitely. So please do your due diligence and like check into that. And I will say the first book is not anything that special. Like it was probably a three and a half star read for me, but books two and three, book three, blew me away it was so good like see I'm like super into talking about it <sighs> like I'm telling you I can't wait to do a reread okay <sighs> glint so book two there's the back we've got the ribbons <sighs> all right let me take off the film again so here's the like clear plastic piece again and I'm pretty sure, unfortunately, these are sold out. So, and there it is without that dust jacket. The inside. This one is signed. Oh, I can't wait to read these. And they are new adult. Um, takes a little bit to get to, like, the good spice. Like I said, book three. But it is well worth. I mean, there's a little bit of spice here and there. But book three me away <laughs> okay and here it is and she's chunky she is like thick oh so this one I'm definitely gonna be the this one's gonna be the one I display on my shelf I'm in love with these I think that some people didn't love the style that they went with this but I love it like I think it's fantastic I don't know it's so different from like some of the other special edition covers and stuff that we've gotten. I mean, I am here for it. And I love the artist. Her style worked really well for this. I wish they had come with like prints. I think that would be nice if book boxes did that. Just included some, cause these aren't cheap. Like it's not cheap to get a set of these. Plus we'll have to wait for glow to come out. Okay, so. Here it is, and it's ribbons. If you know, you know. Oh, and I feel like this is kind of foreshadowing on the front of this one. I'm not gonna say anything, but I feel like the front cover, a bit shadowy. I love him. And the kit, of course, we've got the gold coming in. Okay, mine is, in fact, signed, so we're good. Hallelujah. I can't wait to reread these this week. Mm. Okay. I'm these were amazing. Great job, Bookshbox. I think the tea can be scorching when it comes to that. Um I I think they're about to I think they're about to release some really good ones this year and I need to resubscribe and just do like book only. I do not think that their monthly boxes are great and I was subscribed and then unsubscribed. I just don't think that they're, they're not up with like Fairy Loot or even Luma Crate. So, but they have a book only option. So I've waitlisted myself for that so I can get the subscriber perks, AKA like early access to the special edition because these are their market. 
in my opinion. Like they're from Blood and Ash versions were really, really good. Um, Zodiac Academy, Air Awakens, uh, the Plated Prisoner series that I just unboxed. Like they do a really good job. So to me, it's worth to get their monthly book if I can be like, get the early subscriber purchasing perks. So, okay, well, I'm gonna go and keep, I'm actually currently watching Horizon Forbidden West. <sighs> it's really good so far. I'm watching somebody play through it on YouTube. So, okay, bye. Hello, good evening. I am going to rearrange my cabinets. <laughs> I would like my coffee cups to be over here and regular cups to be over there. Because now that I'm drinking coffee, I don't have easy access to my coffee mugs. So here we go. I'll show you. So this is the um, current state. It's kind of just a junk drink drawer. <laughs> uh, so we need to take care of that. And then once again, kind of a hot mess. So... I'm going to fix that because I really can't even get to any of my mugs and see what's going on. Good afternoon, my friends. Coming at you with a new Fairy Loot, fairy loot unboxing. So I'm wondering if this is the adult, the first adult month box, because the box is like, you know, different than if I had ordered like a one-off book from them. So I'm thinking this has got to be the March one. Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is the March book only adult box, which is the Atlas Six. Um, sorry, there's a gnat in here. Um, okay. Let's see how it looks because I did get the really good comparison, actually. I got the Illumicrate version of the Atlas 6 in. Um, look at those edges. They're like galaxy type. Uh, there's the back. And it's kind of, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's holographic. And then this is what the end papers look like. I have no idea who any of these characters are as I have not read this book. And it is signed. So let's compare the two, shall we? I think we shall. Because I don't think we've seen, I feel like they haven't shared what this looks like. Ooh. Okay. So it's completely like off white and gold. There is the sprayed edges. So far, I am liking Illumicrate's version a bit more. <sighs> yeah. Now, let's check out the insides. Okay. So, here's the naked cover of Fairy Loot. It's a bit more tricked out than Illumicrate's. So for comparison, what do you guys prefer? Okay. And then here is the end paper. So similar vibe. Again, don't know who these people are. And this one is, is signed as well. Okay, different people on these end papers. Which one do you guys prefer? I think I kind of might prefer Illumicrate, to be honest. Like, I mean, I think this is a really cool take on it. But I'm not feeling the off-white. Is this a hot take? I don't know. What's everybody else preferring? I now have three copies of this book and have yet to read it. What does that say about me? Okay. What do you guys prefer here? I'm going to Lumicrate. Glad I got both. Okay, there's that. And then I did get my Rosie Thorns Patreon uh, package in. So it came with the um, Your Exquisite, I think that's the Your Exquisite print. And she added some like holographic, which you can't tell in this lighting. She did add some like holographic um, 
glitter in the background almost. Which I have like three copies of this print, not gonna lie. Uh, and then I think I have the paper craft of that coming too for my birthday. <laughs> Uh, then we have this um, Addie LaRue print that has some, you know, special gilding on her dress. Um, I haven't read that book either. Then I did grab the Crescent City, uh, You'll Be Happier with a Hoover, which we love that with Miss Bryce uh, style print. Did not have that copy. And I got this Kaz in Inej from Six of Crows when she's hurt and he's carrying her. Love that. Need to reread that. And last but not least, I got the other Six of Crows Wicked King or uh, Crooked Kingdom. So there's like a side-by-side -side print that I got last month. Um, so I wanted the other half to go with it. So it's got our faves on there. So yeah, there's Mill Day. Huh, that was enlightening. Don't we think? Very enlightening. Okay, goodbye. Hello. <laughs> I've gotten terrible at vlogging. I'm not gonna lie. I completely have forgotten. I'm so out of the habit. But hi, it is Sunday <laughs> in April. I have done absolutely nothing this weekend. It has been so cool, cold in North Carolina. Like <laughs> for it to be like mid-April, it's freezing. Um, yesterday I spent all day watching Bridgerton season two and it was so good. Um, the yearning man, the brooding, real good. And then I've read like five books, maybe not five, but I feel like I've read a ton over the past like four days, probably like end of the week until now. And poor Odin, I just found, I think it's a hot spot. He gets allergies super bad. I don't know if anyone else's dog has ever experienced that, but I just bought some Benadryl to see if that'll help take the edge off. Um, and I've used a bunch of like antiseptic spray that I had on hand to try to help. And I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it and make sure it heals. Or else that's a vet trip for us. Great, love that for us. Ah, there he is, man of the hour. Um, anyway, okay, so what I've been reading, I did finish Gleam. It was 10 out of 10, would recommend complete five stars again, maybe even seven. That book does something to me. <laughs> I adore that series. So if you haven't checked out the Plated Prisoner series, like I've said before, check the trigger warnings, but it gave me the same feelings that Akatar did the very first time I read it. And I have been chasing that feeling for five years, seven, I don't know, since like 2016, probably. I've been chasing that feeling. <laughs> And that series gives it to me. Like I said, the first book, you got to get over the hump. But once you do, immaculate. Um, then I read Dead Drop. Yeah, so that's the second book in the Guild series by Tate James. So that's like a, it's not, I mean, it is a reverse harem, but it's more of like a poly relationship, I guess. Maybe, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but it's just two guys and one girl in this series. She does the Madison Kate series and the Hades series where there's three guys and one girl. This one just has two. Um, and it's only three books. So the third one comes out in June. I read that one so quick. It was so good. Um, you're following Danny DeLuna, who is like a assassin in the guild. And she's being hunted. The guild wants her dead. She doesn't know why. Um, so she's working with an executioner in the guild who was like kind of slated to kill her and they've worked together for a couple years, but he harbors a thing for her, Leon. And then she, in the first book, had gotten kind of like captured <laughs> by this guy named Kai um, and she escapes him at the end of the first book. Spoiler. Um, <laughs> so anyway, he comes back into play in the second, obviously, of course he does. Um, but this is definitely, in all of Tate's other books, there's never been like a visceral hate between the two guys like going after the same girl. And Madison Kate, the three guys were best friends. It was kind of non-issue in the beginning um, or like the entire series. And then in Hades, they didn't know each other, but it didn't take long for them to become like more of a family unit. Um, and this book, Leon and Kai hate each other completely. And that all kind of comes to a head in the second book. So like I said, the third book, which is called... Uh, I don't know. I'll put it right here though. Uh, cause it's not out yet. It'll come out in June. She writes them pretty fast. So they come out like every three months. And I don't know who 
the next series in the Shadow uh, Grove world will be about. Maybe Sabine. I'm not sure. But anyway, so there's that. And then I ended up picking up a new Teal Swan book called Ferrara, which is kind of a spinoff from The Italian, which I read last year, I think. I didn't love it. That was the first T.L. Swan book that I've, well, I didn't like the Stanton series, which I have mentioned that in previous videos, but that was like her very first series and I was trying to read her entire catalog. Ferrara was the first book by her in recent years, like so this one just, she just published it. I did not really care for it. It was probably a three-star read. Um, it just felt kind of cobbled together in a weird way, like... <sighs> I feel like sometimes I find very similar plot points in some of her books um, to where it kind of bugs me sometimes. And this one just felt like Stanton all over again. And I did not care for that series much. Um, I guess because the trope is... So they find out that they are supposedly... Like they fall in love as kids. They're like 19 and 17, I think. The... Uh, Francesca and Giuliano and then they're told that they're siblings <laughs> which going into it you pretty much assume that they're really not and you've just got to figure out it's kind of like um the first Shadowhunters book which I hated that plot point as well so this is just not a thing I'm into obviously uh <laughs> but like we go on for like half the book about the fact like just take a paternity test why does it take you 300 pages to do that in 10 years? <laughs> that just seems like the obvious, like, duh. If you have billions of dollars, why aren't you just taking a paternity test and putting it to rest? Anyway, it just takes a really long time to sort that out. And I feel like they have all these fights and they never actually resolve anything. It just wasn't flushed out. Like, I, I don't know. It was very off. Um, I just did not enjoy it compared, and I have loved almost every single one of her recent books. They have been so good. Um, but this one just didn't do it for me. And then at the end of it, Enrico from the Italian comes back, as well as his wife, Olivia. And I feel like we even shaded their characters. Like, <laughs> they were kind of thrown in the, I don't know, it just really rubbed me the wrong way in some ways. I don't, I'm rambling. I didn't care for it. Um, so then last night, I was like, I have to read a Teal Swan book that I love, and I had been, after Bridgerton, I, I wanted something that gave me those same vibes, so I picked up Mr. Masters again, which I read last year, loved, devoured it. I mean, I stayed up, I started this book, which was a mistake, I started at midnight, and I stayed up until three <laughs> reading that book, and then immediately when I woke up at 8.15, I picked it back up and started reading again in bed till I got out of bed at 9.30. Then went outside at 10 o'clock and just kept reading till I finished it. That book, oh, it's a masterpiece. It's so good. So that one is uh, Julian Masters and Brie. What's her last name? I don't even know what her last name is. But basically, he's a widowed late 30s, early 40s widower. Um, and Brie is the 25-year-old au pair. And it's so good. It's just, it's really good. Um, love that series. And so I finished that one today. I mean, like I said, I have been on a roll. Don't know what's up with me. I think it's just all this newfound freedom that I have not working multiple jobs. <sighs> love that. So what am I going to do now, you ask? That's a great question. I don't know. I don't know what I want to pick up. I did hear that there is a reverse harem series, um, that is Marvel themed, so, I might pick that up because I'm just, I'm feeling the reverse harem vibes. Might see what that's about. I also need to finish the fourth Zodiac Academy book. I kind of had to put it down. People look, I'm not as into those as other people are. I feel like they're a bit long. Like, ugh. So, I'm kind of taking my time with those. Like, I'm halfway through the fourth book and I had to just, like, put it down. Not because it was bad, but just because... It wasn't what I was in the mood for. Maybe we'll put it that way. So anyway, I do need to pick that back up so I don't forget about what all I've read. Um, so I need to clean up the house because I've completely neglected that all weekend. <laughs> I have literally done nothing, um, which is a vibe. I'm not mad about it, but my house is a wreck and I need to mow and it's 222. So we've got plenty of time here. So I think I'm going to pick up around the house and mow 
and listen to Akatar because I'm almost done with that again for the millionth time. Plus I got one of my like friends here into it and I have loved hearing her commentary. That's been fun. So anyway, that's the update. I'll keep you updated. Oh wow, that was a weird sentence. Hello everyone, live from the book room, library. It's not Saturday night. <laughs> uh, am I humorous? Just a little. Uh, it's Sunday and it's Easter. If you celebrate Easter, if you don't, it's Sunday. Um, I need to do a bunch of work in this room, but I also want to work on my little like mini books that I wanted to keep up during the year and it's April and I haven't done any of them. So I just made my PowerPoint. I'm going to print it off and we're going to make little tiny books. And then I've got stuff everywhere in this room basically. So we're going to just like put it away and I have some new um, book covers to put on. <sighs> yeah, we just need to do a lot. But first, um, so I realized I have the, I think it's the Target edition of uh, Empire of Storms with this Rowan and Aelin on it. <laughs> and I kind of want to hang it up. I've like spent time like flattening it out. So I think I'm going to put it on the wall as well because this can't just be sitting anywhere else, right? Um, yeah. And I don't remember if I did show this, but check out this pen of Aelin and it lives on my shelf now. <sighs> I love collecting. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get to work. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah, I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you can never own copies because I like to keep my original copies out. Um, I do have an act, an extra copy or a couple extra copies of Akasif and I guess uh, really a quarter of Wings and Ruin. Um, it's one of those things I'll probably just have to switch out and I might end up switching out my Juniper one that's out front. Um, we'll see though. Um, but I'll show you guys what they look like. So these are from Clover Crate. And 
This one is a Court of Mist and Fury. What I do really like is that they already have the um, bend in there where you would put it around the book, which makes it so much easier to put on. So that one's a Court of Mist and Fury. I actually think I like the Akatar cover the best. Um, because it's got the three sisters on there and I just really vibe with that. It's just different. So that was a nice idea. Then we have a quart of silver flames and I'll put them on in just a second and show you guys. But this is why I hoard so many copies of books, dust jackets. Then we have A Court of Frost and Starlight. This is probably my least favorite of the whole set. And then, ooh, I do love this one. The um, Court of Wings and Ruin one. So, I can probably, I have a couple that, I, that we can switch out. So, we'll make it work. But, hold on. Now, I'll show you how they look on the books. Okay. So, here's A Court of Wings and Ruin on the book. There's the really pretty spine with the name at the bottom. Very gilded. Wings. I think that's great. Um, and so this is my like indigo edition. Um, so it's got fan art on the inside of Charlie Bowater, which we love that. Is that all Charlie? I think it is. Not 100%. But it also looks like Merwild. So that actually might be Merwild and not all Charlie, but I know that some of that's Charlie, the front ones. There's a Court of Silver Flames. Here's the back of it. I think it turned out pretty good. But the question continues to be, <laughs> Where do these things go? Because I run out of room, or I have officially, I mean, we're out of room. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We are out of room, folks. Yeah, so, <laughs> basically, I gotta grab two more copies of life here. And then once I have, or three, three more hardback copies, you know, no biggie. No biggie. So these kind of just chill in my closet until I get more. So then the other thing that I got are the new Throne of Glass ones by Dusty Shop, I think. I think that's right. I have been waiting for these. I haven't even gotten them out yet. Oh yeah. Okay. I mean, spoilers, but literally pain. Yeah. I mean, that's just painful. So I'm replacing my bookish box covers. Most of them, there are a couple that I keep out because I use them more as like art on my shelf, like this Manon cover and then the Assassin's Blade down there. But I hate, <laughs> I've been so mad about the way those spines look for so long. So these guys are going to be replacing that. So I'll show you all the covers, you guys. I just put these covers on. <laughs> They're insane. Like I kind of want to rearrange this entire shelf to be able to show them off because they are next level. Okay. So first of all, we have Assassin's Blade. I mean, stunning. Look, <laughs> we even get to see like Arabin and uh, Homie from the Red Deserts and the Silent Assassins and Sam. And Rolf, well, a silent assassin's on here. I think this is Rolf and this is Sam. Uh, okay, 
awesome. I'm trying to go in order here. So then we have Throne of Glass with Selena and Elena and the Glass Castle. The spines, I mean, for example, these other covers didn't even have the title on there. Missed opportunity. Then we have Crown of Midnight. Look at Nehemia and Selena. And then we have our boy story and a camel. <laughs> this makes me miss this world so much, even though I just did a reread recently. Um, then we have Air of Fire, Rowan, Aelin, and Maeve with her owl. I mean, that's fun. And I think I showed you the, no, I didn't. Um, Queen of Shadows, we have Abraxos and Manon, and then all the other Wyverns. Then we have Empire of Storms, Adian, and Lysandra. <laughs> and then we have Elite, Lorcan, Fenris, and who's on the back here? Oh, I guess um, uh, Gabriel. Yeah. So Fenris, Elite, Lorcan, Gabriel is my assumption. <laughs> this one almost made me cry. <laughs> Look at Kale and Irene. <laughs> Tower of Dawn. And on the back, we have Nezrin and Sartak. Like, uh, uh, we never hardly get art of them. And then the last one is what I showed you, which is Kingdom of Ash. And it makes me want to cry. So, now I'm going to rearrange my shelf. I don't know how this is ever going to play out. <laughs> I mean, it would probably work if I would give up my whole shelf. the best we can do here folks <laughs> okay but I low-key love it <laughs> and I could always switch out which ones are facing forward now what <laughs> well, I guess they could go on top of that over there why do I have to love so many copies of these books <sighs> it's fine Everything's fine. Eventually, I think this entire shelf is just going to be moss. But we've not reached that yet. But I'm satisfied.
happy Monday. Um, hold on. This is terrible. Okay. They're, these are so bright behind me that my head's like blocking the light. <laughs> um, I don't normally film at this angle. I don't feel like, but I wanted to, first of all, in this vlog, because I feel like it's just been rambling. And second of all, I'll show you a couple things that came in the mail. So, um, I did get a pen from, I'll put her name down below. And it's the reunion scene between Aelin and Rowan in Queen of Shadows. And I've got it out on a different shelf. So I'll throw that clip in here. And then today, ah, so I got the kneeling, um, Resand and Feyre pen, uh, by, um, Oh, red sunflower pens who like her pens are stupidly upcharged on like resale sites. Like you can't hardly get them because they're, I mean, there's only 65 of this particular pen, which it's stunning. It's a scene from ACMAF if you're not familiar. And, um, like I just hear it in my head <laughs> when he's like, you are my salvation, Feyre. Um, so that, I just love it. And what's nice though is I've been recently on eBay, I saw these like cute little holders. So you can display your pins like on your shelf like that. So I got like a pack of 15 maybe for, I think they were only $9.99. Um, so I'm gonna just use them all around my shelves. But anyway, I have been reading, um, <clears throat> I think the last book you saw me reading was The Clockwork Angel. I think, yeah, that's the first one. Or is it Clockwork Prince? No, Clockwork Angel is the first one. Uh, in the Infernal Devices series, Bethany and, I are, Bethany and I are reading those together right now. So this is a reread for me. First time read through for her. I love these characters. Jim has my whole heart. So I'm like halfway through that right now where we're just kind of still like getting into the world. It's weird coming from like a massive romance kick into something that's definitely more of a slow burn with like little to no smut or anything in there. Um, other than that, I've not really, I did read this book called King of Chaos or Kings of Chaos. Um, it's a reverse harem and it's, it was okay. I mean, it's very similar to the Madison Kate series. So if you, and Den of Vipers, I would say it's a cross between Den of Vipers and Madison Kate. I'm definitely like still reading it. Um, but it, it's not Madison Kate to me. Um, and then I did get sucked into some webtoons. Ugh, no one ever told me about webtoons. So I'm kind of glad. Laura Olympus is back this week. Thank the Lord. I fast passed those four episodes. You can't like so fast. I, I devoured the new episodes. <sighs> I just need, I need more. <laughs> like, I don't know how I'm supposed to wait another week until like next Sunday. I, I really, I do not know how I can wait based on like where we left off. And then I read Under the Oak Tree. Has anyone else ever? It's definitely more of a manga, I would say. I think it's like a Korean manga, maybe. Um, I don't know. It's on Manta. Got super, so it had been like, I'd seen some ads for it. It had been like shown to me a couple of times. I was like, I don't want to read that. But uh, I would always swipe through and like <laughs> read what the slide said. And finally, after I like finished Laurel and Piss again, I was like, you know what? I should check that out. And I did. And I read it in like a couple hours. Um, but there's only 44 episodes up on Manta right now. And I think there's like over 200 in Korean, so they're being like translated into English. Um, but there's also a book, and maybe I'm perhaps reading the book as well. I mean, um, <laughs> did I download a specific app late last night just to read the book because there's 148 chapters versus the 44 that are currently translated? Maybe. Did I have to pay a subscription fee in order to do that? Possibly. <sighs> But here we are. <laughs> I don't know. Who am I? Like, ever since I'm just like, I, I don't care about anything, but like, people who don't exist. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. So, this is where I'm going to leave you. I have to go on a work trip tomorrow. So, I'll be gone like Tuesday through Thursday, but I'll get to go to my favorite bookstore. Um, so, I'll try to do some vlogging here and there while I'm on said work trip. And yeah, I'll. Oh, 
fingers crossed that maybe I can get another be lucky. I mean, this was like once in a lifetime used bookstore find my Akatar arc for $3.99. This thing, I want to display it. It is my pride and joy of my collection. Um, but anyway, I'll let you know if I find anything good. I'm always hunting, always hunting. So yeah, that's where I'm going to leave you. Hope everyone had a fantastic week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.